In the previous video, we looked at these quadratic equations having two distinct real roots. In this video, we're going to look at five more examples, but this time we've got no real roots. So in each of these cases, and you'd want to make this very clear on your exam paper, that the discriminant would have to be negative. And for each of these, we want, we want to identify the A, the B, and the C. So let's have a look at number 1. 2x squared take away 5x plus 2k equals 0. So the A will be 2. The B will be minus 5, and the C will be 2k. OK? So we want B squared, so minus 5 squared, take away 4 lots of A times C. And that's got to be negative. So we're going to have 25 take away, well, 4 lots of 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So take away 16k has got to be negative. So take the six, uh, sorry, the 25 from both sides, and then divide both sides by minus 16. So we'll get k is greater than minus 25 over minus 16, so 25 sixteenths. So k has got to be greater than 25 sixteenths in order for that quadratic equation to have no real roots. OK, so that's the first one. Let's have a look at number 2. So we've got 4x squared take away tw uh, 2x plus 3k minus 1 equals 0. So the a is the coefficient of the x squared, the b is the coefficient of the x, and the c is whatever you've got left over, the 3k minus 1. So we're going to have b squared minus 2 squared take away 4 lots of a times c. And that's got to be negative. So minus 2 squared is 4. We're going to have 16 lots of 3k minus 1. So four, uh, 16 lots of 3, or 3 lots of 16, is 48. So take away 48k, and then we're going to have minus 16 times minus 1. So that's plus 16. That's got to be less than 0. So 20 take away 48k is less than 0. Take the 20 from both sides, and then divide both sides by the minus 48. So k will be greater than, so the sign changes because we're dividing by a negative, minus 20 over minus 48. OK, so pop that into the calculator, and we get 5 twelfths. So k would have to be greater than 5 twelfths in order for that Second quadratic equation have no real roots. OK, let's have a look at number 3. So number 3, we've got 5x squared plus 2kx plus 1 equals 0. The a will be 5, the b will be 2k, the c will be 1. So we want b squared take away 4 lots of a times c. And that's got to be negative. So 2k all squared will be 4k squared. We'll have take away 20. It's got to be less than 0. Divide everything through by 4. So k squared take away 5 is less than 0. Now, at this stage, difference of two squares. Um, I know 5 is not a square number, but it makes it easier to visualize what happens next. So that'd be k take away root 5 times k plus root 5. That's got to be negative. So this will be a parabola crossing through negative root 5 and positive root 5. So where is the parabola below the k-axis? Well, it's below it there. So k has got to be between minus root 5 and positive root 5 in order for that quadratic equation to have no real roots. All right, let's have a look at number 4. 3x squared plus 2k plus 1x plus 1. So the a is 3, the b is 2k plus 1, and the c is 1. So we're going to have b squared take away 4 lots of a times c. And that's got to be less than 0. 
So I'm going to expand this bracket out. So we'll have 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And then I'm taking away 12. So I've got 4k squared plus 4k. One take away 12 is minus 11. OK? So I'd like to be able to factorize that if I can. OK? I'm going to go to my quadratic solver. Uh, I could put it into the quadratic formula. But I'm going to pop it in the calculator instead. OK, so um, I don't get particularly nice answers. OK, um, so what you would have to have is a quadratic, so a parabola. And we can identify where this is crossing the k-axis using our quadratic solver. And k would have to be minus 1 minus 2 root 3 over 2, and minus 1 plus 2 root 3 over 2. So where is the parabola below the k-axis? Well, it's below it between those two values. OK? So that would be the answer to number uh, 4. So last but not least, number 5, we've got 2kx squared plus k minus 1x plus 2k minus 2 equals 0. So the a is 2k, the b is the k minus 1, the c is the 2k minus 2. So we're going to have b squared take away 4 lots of a times c. And that's got to be less than 0. Now, because what, what I could do is I could multiply out all the brackets. However, I've spotted that I could pull 2 out of that bracket. And what I would be left with, so I've got, what, 8k. Bring the 2 out as well, so 16k. And then I'd have k minus 1 is less than 0. So actually, without having to expand all the brackets, I can now factor k minus 1 out of those two terms. And I'd be left with k minus 1 take away 16k is less than 0. So k minus 1. And then we've got, well, minus 15k take away 1 has got to be less than 0. Now, for ease, I could factor out the minus 1 from that bracket. So if I do that, then I've got this situation. I could divide through by the minus 1, and that reverses the direction of the inequality symbol. So now, this is a quadratic probability. It's going to be going through minus 1 15th from that bracket and 1. Where is the parabola above the k-axis? Well, it's above it there and there. So when k is less than minus 1 over 15, and when k is greater than 1. Okay, And that's the solution to number 5.